The Big Show with Night and Day. Barista made coffee just the way you love it. Don't fight it. It's time to go up a size. This is the biggest, the biggest, the biggest. This is the biggest. Our biggest show. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Oh, g'day, you mad bastards. You, my friends, listen to the Hodaki Big Show. It's Wednesday, the 10th of April, 4.02. My name's Keezy. That's Mogi. Bloody night and day. Oh, Keezy over there, eh? Yeah. No, what? Hoodie J did already. Uh, today, no, sorry, no, fellas. Hoodie J's taking a day off. He loves a um, he loves a midweek day off. He hates a hump day. Right. So he's just going to start taking Wednesdays off every week. Right, I thought he was with his family today, but he's just taking it no, off. No, he's just taking it off. Wow, that's... Well, he is with his family, but because he's taking it off. You know what I'm saying? That's really lazy from him. Yeah. Well, he hates a hump day. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you true. You know what I mean? What's going on with you, man? I see you've got your Winter Nats shirt on today. Yeah, Your crimson one. Yeah, I've got my. It's red. It's not crimson. Uh, oh, it's crimson. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got a red maroon drag. even. Yeah, it's yeah. got some flames and stuff on it's got, it. It's cool. Don't yeah, get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Mogi, you rogue stallion, you bronzed Adonis. Uh, <laughs> look at hot man in that t-shirt of yours. How you going? Yeah, I'm going pretty grouse. Thanks. Having a ball. Oh, hopefully, we'll be able to get into some sleep chat today, man. I feel a bit weird doing it without Hoity J, but. Having some garbage sleeps lately, right? Which has happened hasn't happened for a while. Been going pretty good with the sleeps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. know what I mean? That's concerning. Is it? I don't know. I wasn't it? that worried about. Oh, okay. It. Yeah, no, well, yeah. neither am I. It's just something to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's good. Yeah, but I thought we could talk about you because you sleep no day. I do sleep now. Right, so let's get into that later. Oh, cool. Okay, more on that coming up later on the show. Also, this hour, uh, another chance to win some cash with Wage Against the Machine. More chances to get yourself in the draw to join us in Brizzy for Magic Round. We've also got Dave from uh, boystrip.co.nz coming in to have a bit of tra- chat about that prize as well. So it is all go. In the meantime, though, New Zealand, give us a text, 3483. Where are you in this beautiful country? What are you wearing? And what are you getting up to? Everyone that texts through, $50 night and day voucher could be yours. Here's the red hot <laughs> chilies. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. It is the exponents on the Hodaki Big Show. Twelve minutes past four. You are listening to Keezy and <laughs> Old yeah, boy. Hoity J back on deck with us tomorrow, folks. Looking forward to that. Hey, um, had something pretty exciting happen today. The old dear, uh, the neighbour moved out a little while ago. Oh yeah, and uh, had a had a new fella come in today. There, young fella he was. Oh yeah, yeah, good eating. What do you mean? Like, if you look good at him, look. you think to yourself, oh, yeah. Really? Good at you. Wow. Yeah, really good. Nice to have some eye candy around the joint, man. Mm. Um, so, yeah, he was – what was pretty typical about him was he was carrying all his um, clothes in out of the boot of his car. Just just loose, not just even in loose, a bag. Just loose, not in a bag, not in a suitcase, so, not in anything. Can I guess early 20s? Early 20s, yeah. yeah I'd say around about early 20s. Big unit, big fella, you know, oh, strappy. Yeah. Good eating, can I say that much? Yeah, you already did, yeah, nice. And um, so anyway, I just went over there and welcomed him to the neighbourhood, you know. Do you do that? Are you the kind of person that would do that? Oh, 100%. Right. Yeah, you want to welcome people to the neighbourhood, Keezy. Yeah, but I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. I'll wave at them if I see them, but I'm not going to be like, oh, hey. Would you not? Nah. Oh, oh yeah, no, I go over. If they, if I see them moving in, yes, I, sure, might, I right. might do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I went over and I just sort of yeah, – what you want to do is you want to give them the lay of the land and you also want to get them on your side because, right. you know, when you first get them in there, you can sort of make them see the neighbourhood – through your eyes the way you want it. You know, you manipulate them. Right. You're like, you know, old mate over the road there's, a, you know, he's a real sicko, so you want to stay away from him. Right. Doris down the road's a sticky beak, you know, don't take any, you know, BS from old but Doris. But really, you're the sicko. But yeah. really, I'm the scum. With the massive beak, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, um, yeah, so I was just sort of giving them the lay of the land, saying, you know, at, um, we get quite a lot of leaves and the drains, et cetera, et cetera. Um, don't mow your lawns too early or Dave over the road gets a bit pissy about it. Right. Um, uh, don't look at my missus or I'll smash you. You know, just the yeah. sort of the standard sort of stuff that you go through. Then after a while there, I was thinking to myself, I know this guy. And uh, it turns out it's Rocco Berry from the Waz. From the Warriors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, a yummy yeah. boy. He is a yummy boy. He's yeah. a yummy boy of every day of the week exactly. from now on. Um, so, yeah, it's quite good. Um because I don't know if you know this, but I'm a fan of the Waz. Are you? Yeah, and so I just – it was good. I got him out on the road, and I just gave him a few tips 
just a couple of tips and a few moves that they could um, they could try out. I don't know if you remember the Stacey Jones wraparound. Do you remember that? Yeah, the double round, absolutely. So you, you pass it to you know the person outside you, then you run, run around, around the other them, side yeah. of them, and then they pass it to you. It hasn't been used for about 10 or 15 years, and I feel like there's a real opportunity there. People will be bamboozled by the Stacey Jones wraparound. I feel like the Warriors are going so well at the moment, almost implementing a brand new backline move might, might even, and no offence, might even take away from what they're doing. Yeah, but I think they've got pretty good brains on them. And anyway, so I've got Andrew Webster's number off Rocco, and we're going to give it a bash. But what was weird was after we finished talking, he started putting all his clothes back into his car. That's weird. Athletes, eh? Oh, that's so weird. So hot, though. You his saying- middle name is I – mean, not his middle name. His nickname is Goose. Goose. They call him Gooseberry, you were saying. Gooseberry. Yeah, yeah. You know, Gooseberry's good, nickname, good eating. <laughs> The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Who's going to ride your rogue stallions? It's you two there on the Hodaki Big Show with Keezy and Mogi. It is 24 minutes past four. No Hoity J today. He will be back tomorrow. Uh, right now, though, the Waz are gearing up to take on the Manly Seagulls this Saturday evening at Mount Smart Stadium. If you would like a double pass to that, give me a call right now, 0800 Hodaki, and we will chuck you in the... Uh, well, no, we'll just give it to you. You just give it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah in the meantime... Yeah. Time to chat footy with Boom. me. Boom! Look at that. Keezy. What are the Warriors up to? <laughs> i tell you what the Warriors are up to. Exactly what I just said there. Taking on the Manly Sea Eagles this Saturday, 5 o'clock, Mogi, at home. Did you catch the Sea Eagles game over the weekend? Yeah, man. It was uh, one of the three games in a row that I watched. Oh, and yeah. I was thoroughly impressed by the Sea Eagles, and in particular, uh, Dolly Cherry Evans, yes. whose kicking game is just out the gate. The only thing freakier than his neck is his kicking game. Yeah, he's a master. Um, and the thing about Daly as well uh, is you look at guys like Adam Reynolds who are in the same vein, really experienced halves. Daly Cherry Evans has had this massive career and pretty much no serious injuries. Yeah. It's amazing what he's been able to do. So he's going to be a guy we're going to have to really keep tabs on. Yeah, that's for sure. This weekend. Uh, we'll be keeping tabs on them. And, yeah, I think it's a uh, it's a great measure of the team. A lot of reps after our game last week. Yes. You've got uh, Billy Slater coming out saying we're title contenders. Gus Gould coming out saying they're title contenders. A lot of the... Um, sort of the major podcasts and shows around the place saying it's Penrith first, oh, like Warriors, Monday, Warriors yeah. second. Yeah, um, and yeah, so it's there's a similar amount of pressure on, but I think I think they're up to it. I th- and you pointed this out uh, yesterday, I think off air. You went through the next sort of five teams that we're facing. Yeah, the Warriors are so good. We should expect at least four and one, if not five and oh. Yeah. And if we are going to have one game that we lose, it might be this one against Manly because they did just knock off Penrith. However, the week before, they played against St. George Dragons in the worst game of football I've ever seen two teams play. They dropped the ball every 10 seconds. They were horrendous. Yeah. So this is another team that could either come out and put a big number on you or be absolutely hopeless. Yeah, exactly. And I do think there's something to be said, though, for the Warriors. They just... They worry about themselves. Yeah. The and self-warriors. Yeah, yeah, the self-warriors. And so, yeah, I just think we're an incredible side. And these are the sorts of games that you've got to play and put other teams away. It is still early in the season, but we've already seen huge amount of improvement from week to week. I am just fizzing. I'm going to be out at the game. I'll take my five-year-old. I'll hopefully get to the end of the first half before she um, insists on going home. So, Well, all I can say is if you're planning on leaving 15 minutes early, don't sit near Mogi <laughs> in the stands, otherwise you'll be all over <laughs> social media. Uh, good news too, we've got Kurt Capewa is back after a concussion. Hopefully a bit of time there for his ribs to heal, although to be honest, he's probably going to have that all season. Uh, and Dylan Watene Zelezniak is back from his wee hamstring niggle. He's back on the right wing. Roger's back at centre. This team now, the back line, with Tamaiti switched out for Metcalf, it's pretty much... The back line we yep, want. she's down. So it's going to be an excellent game. Uh, let's go to the line and see who's getting that double pass. Josh, you mad bastard. Yeah. How's life? Yeah, great, mate. Yeah, bloody good. How's Tauranga? Oh, yeah, she's a bit cloudy, but loving it. She's yeah. all good. Nice, mate, nice. Uh, hey, the game's at Mount Smart, man. Couple of hours drive. If I give you a double pass, will you come up for it? Oh, for sure. Got to. Yep. Bl- bloody oath, mate. Uh, that double pass is all yours, Josh. Thanks a lot. Fizzin. Bloody fizzin. That's how we do it down there in Tauranga. Can't move for fizz. Uh, another chance to win a double pass for every single home game uh, on the show, but also on our social media. Head to the Hodaki Big Show's Instagram account. Little double pass up for grabs there. Yeah, boy. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Do what they told you.
what they taught you. Do what they taught you. Do what they taught you. It's time to wage against the machine. Winning in the game of. Winning in the game of. Is it winning in the game or winning at the game? I think it's winning in the game of. Is it? We'll have to oh, sh- that's what it's saying. It's saying winning in the game of, but I'm wondering if it should be winning at the game of. You know? Yeah, should I play? I just want to double check. Actually. Okay, Hang let's on. have a listen. Do what they told you. What they told you. Do what they told you. Do what they told you. It's time to wage against the machine. Winning in the game of. See what I'm saying? Yeah. It should it be at? Yeah, I think it could be either or. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. Though. Look, Three... I don't want to make a big deal about it. Oh, I think it's too late for that. Okay. Hey, uh, let's go to the lines, see who's going to have a chance to play for some cash. G'day, Jules. How you going? Woohoo! Thanks. Good. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy, Jules. You haven't won the money yet, mate. Uh, where are you calling from? Uh, no, but that's okay. I, I got through. And that, that's, you got, that's, awesome. that's the main thing. Just so you know, when somebody says, how's it going, thanks <laughs> is not an appropriate answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. Whatever Jill's on, man. I'm keen. I've got my fingers and toes crossed. I went for a job interview today. So oh, did you? Really <laughs> what are you hoping to do for a crust there, Jules? Oh, I'm a I'm receptionist administrator. So hey! yeah. oh, backbone! <laughs> how, do you think I, the, how do you think the interview went, man? Um, I think it went really well. I'm, I'm hoping, yeah, I've got positive thinking there. So. Oh, I don't even hope. They don't deserve you, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you walk into that place tomorrow and you tell them to stick that job because you're going to be rich today. Yeah, actually, Woo-hoo! you won't need a job if you win it. Wage okay. against the machine if you get hooked up yeah. thanks to Super Liquor. Uh, do, oh. you, do you know how it works, Jules? Um, can you just sort of remind me again? Yes. Like, I just, yeah. Yeah, no worries at all. So what's going to happen is uh, there is a, an hourly wage each day. Today's yep. hourly yep. wage is decent. Yep. It's a hundred bucks an hour. <laughs> Yeah, so, I didn't certainly ask for that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think uh, anyone around these parts <laughs> would be on that. So uh, all cool. you have to do is we're going to chuck the machine on. It's going to start counting yeah. up the hours. Make sure you stay say stop before the machine clocks yeah. you out and you lose yeah. all the cash, all right? Okay, easy. <laughs> no, not easy, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And Jules, make sure you yell stop nice and loud, all right? Okay, I will. All right, let's do it. <laughs> One hour. Two hours. Three hours. Four hours. Five hours. Yeah! <laughs> that was great. That's five, man. That's she five said hours. Oh yeah, yeah. That's five hours. Jules. Should we just see, Jules, how much longer yeah. you had there? Because I get a feeling you would have won about 50 grand there. Let's find out. Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Jules, what? you are the third yeah. person this week to just sneak in in time and get the maximum <laughs> amount of cash. Oh, that's just so, oh, that's amazing. You've made my day, oh, my week, my month. Jules, everything. you, you, you went for a job interview today, <laughs> and here we are a couple of hours later. You never have to work again. <laughs> <laughs> 500 <laughs> brilliant, bucks. <laughs> brilliant, guys. Yeah, no worries, Jules. 500 bucks, all yours. Cheers to our mates oh. at Super Liquor. You hold the line, Pug San. We'll look after you. Uh, another chance to win some cash tomorrow morning, 8.30, of course, on the Matt and Jerry Show. Uh, and on the big uh, show, 4.30. Oh. Oh, banquet? Eat in there. Yeah, food at the banquet. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Tune from the offspring. Ugh. Three minutes to five. It is the Hodaki Big Show with Keezy and Mogi. Hoodie J back on deck tomorrow. After five o'clock, another chance to get yourself in the draw to join us in Brisbane, Suncorp Stadium, Magic Round, a fantastic weekend of rugby league. Also, uh, Dave from boystrip.co.nz, the crew that actually made this whole thing possible, coming in for a wee bit of a yarn. Also, Mogi, uh. my wife's car. Yeah. It's cursed. Oh, is it? Yeah, I need you to help me remove the curse. Okay. Is that something? Yeah, we'll do that after five, eh? Does the curse sit in the driver's seat? (laughs) The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. It is the Big Show. It's also five minutes past five. Uh, No Jace today, so you got Keezy and Mogi with you. Hordy J back on deck tomorrow, though. Uh, Back on deck tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, Mogi, have you heard about the uh, the old night and day? Yeah. Have you heard about their coffees that they make? Oh, uh, no. Oh. 
$4.50, mate. You get a hell of a caffeine fix, barista made coffee just the way you love it. Also, currently running a Hoity J special at uh, night and day. Go on. Uh, you walk in there, you get you get a coffee. Yeah. Which is a flat white with six sugars. Yes. A step ladder. A packet of darts. A packet of darts. A filthy cap. A filthy cap. A, a, <laughs> a weird, weird hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> And a free dilly. And that's all $13.99. So it's worth heading in and uh, asking for the hoodie. Now, get in before that. That might sell out. Yeah, it will sell out. They do sell out. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Hey, coming up this hour, we've got Dave from boystrip.co.nz in to chat about that epic trip we're giving away to join us, Magic Round, in Brizzy for the NRL. Uh, But up next, though, and we're going to get on to this shortly, my wife's car is 100% cursed. It keeps getting in accidents. I'll tell you all about it next. Because we've got to figure something out. I don't know what we're going to do. But no, I don't know, man. Let's figure something out. Figure it out. Looking forward to what, it. And nothing next? sexist out of you, please, Keezy. Thanks, man. Exorcist? What? Sexist. Oh. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Blondie, heart of glass on the Big Show. 14 minutes past five with Keezy and Mogi. Old Hoity J back on deck for tomorrow's show. Uh, Mogi, got a bit of an issue happening in the Keezy household at the moment. It happens to the best of us, no. brother. Those things come and go. It's like, as long as you've got a um, supporting partner yeah. or wife, you know. Sick. Uh, and then that's, so that's that sorted. Uh, another issue we've got is, it, for the longest time that I've known my wife, which is a bloody long time, uh, she has always not been one to have fancy stuff. My so, wife. So she drove around in a Nissan Pulsar. She's never had fancy stuff. Sorry, I missed an opportunity there because she's never had fancy stuff and I could have referenced you as her husband. Yeah, Damn it's a shame. I'm sorry about that. I was too busy doing that my wife joke, which was really good. Yeah, well. Damn it. None of it's low hanging fruit, which oh, I really like, which gosh. is great. Um, but the whole time she, I've known it, she's had this. Red You've got a couple of low hanging fruit, haven't you? Mogi. <laughs> Sweet God. She's had this red, faded, mid-90s Pulsar. It's worth about a 1000 bucks, right? Right. So we sold that, and I was like, look, we're getting married. Oh, you know, Keezy starts mansplaining. No, yeah. we're getting Sits married. Sits down on the couch. No, and I was like, I want to look after you. I want to get something with a better safety oh, rating. Oh, God. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn the tracking device on your phone, all right? It's on at all times. I don't have to turn anything on. <laughs> So I was like, so we'll look, we'll get you a new car. She's like, okay, fine. So we got her a nice new car. Same as what um, Hoody J's got at the moment, actually. Just a Mazda Acceler, little hatchback. Nice. Hot. It is hot. Uh, hot what colour is it? Black. Black. With nice. a little body kit and some alloys on it. It looks sick. So she's had it for maybe two months. And then, uh, actually. God, that's big money, man. How much you spend on something like that, Keezy? I think it was like 10 grand or something. You're rich. Yes, it's the most expensive car we've ever bought. But anyway, so two months in, right? Smash windscreen. Oh, yeah. How Smash did that windscreen. Happen? Don't know. Oh. Just came out and it was smashed. She came out of what? It came the out. Car. We came out of our house, oh. parked overnight, and the windscreen had somehow smashed overnight. And we were like, maybe someone came up the drive and smashed it? Maybe. Maybe a bird flew over, a, a night bird. Have the birds been acting weird around your joint? A wee bit. Hmm. Drop something on it, right? So it smashes that. Next thing that happens, she's driving along, someone pulls out in front of her, she has to swerve, goes over like this rubber thing with a little sign on it, puts a dent in the door and scratches all the way up the side. Oh, God. Right? Next thing that happens, it's parked out on the road for one night because our mates were staying. Oh, that's right. I remember this one. And the the, the uh, driver's door window smashed. No one even tried to get inside. They just smashed it. Maybe they got in after they smashed it. No, they didn't. Okay. There was no signs of anyone trying to get in. It wasn't even unlocked or anything. That's right. I vaguely remember that you did that. No, I didn't do that. Okay. It was just vandals. Apparently, there's a TikTok trend just smashing video windows and shit. Oh. Yeah. Uh, So that's what happened. Then, the other day, rear-ended on the motorway. Sorry, what? My wife got rear-ended on the motorway. Uh, She looked in her rearview mirror. A guy was looking down at his phone or something, wasn't watching, slammed into the back of her car. Right. All right. The other day, a week later, so this is two weeks ago. She gets rear-ended on the motorway. A week later, someone is that a week ago, someone backs into her car. Oh no! I think her car's cursed. Hmm. So, is this what she's telling you? Yeah. Because the one common denominator here, outside of her car, is that she is the driver. I haven't witnessed any of it. No. So this is the thing. It feels like maybe she's reversed it. You know, it's like at the end of the movie. Like a, the sixth sense or something like that, and then they go oh. back and they show you all the the parts of the film where actually it wasn't what you thought it was all along. It was something else. So it's, she's Bruce Willis. Sounds like she's Bruce Willis. Yeah, 
and she's um, crashing her car left, right, and centre. Right. You know what I mean? That's what it sounds like, right? Yeah. I mean, what's more likely? That everybody is crashing into her every single week, and that or that she's cursed. just crashing it. Yeah, yeah or right. that her car is cursed. Right, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's probably just... Have you been... When you drive with yeah. her, who drives? I do. That's the thing. So she must be a terrible driver if you're the best option. Yeah, well, that's why I drive, because she's a shocking driver. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm glad we sorted that out. Yeah. yeah. We can give her a ring in the next break if you want, so we can just sort of have it out with her if you oh, like. Oh, no, she's already calling me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Here they come. Try time. Oh. Like Holy cow, the Warriors. <laughs> oh, yeah. Up the Warriors, baby. It's the Big Show in Brizzy for the NRL Magic Round. Is there anyone out there? Let's go to the phones. That's right, Magic Round mid-May. You can be joining myself, Mogi, Hoity J and Pugsan and Brizzy. All eight games of the NRL for that round are being played at Suncorp Stadium. It is all thanks to boystrip.co.nz. You get free flights, you get free accommodation, you get uh, tickets to the match, everything is taken care of, and you get to hang with four battlers from the big show. Uh, of course, people have been getting themselves in the draw for a few weeks now. Let's go to the lines. Regan, you mad bastard, how's life? Not bad, bloke, yourself? Yeah, not bad, Regan, you're a big rugby league guy? Big rugby league, baby. What do you do for a crust, you sick son of a bee? Oh, I'm a builder. Oh, oh backbone. backbone, yeah, yeah, yeah I can yeah, tell, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What are you building, Regan? Uh, build houses, mate. I nice. I do anyway. Yeah, good on you, mate. What, what flavoured vape are you running? Oh, I've got the grape at the moment, mate. Oh, really? treat yourself. Oh, great yeah, but sweet, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah little, grape vape. Regan. little treat in the portaloo there, brother. Yeah, oh, you know the score. <laughs> <laughs> Regan, if, uh, if you're out to win this prize, mate, who'd you take with you? I'll have to take my little big brother. Oh, really? Bit of a footy fan. Oh, Mad Wars fan. Yeah, Mad good Wars. on you. And the good thing is uh, the, the Warriors are actually playing the Panthers. That is a grand final preview, and we could be seeing it live. Uh, awesome, Regan, mate. You hold the line. Pug Sam, put you in the draw, all right? Thank you, bro. No worries. Britt, how you going? Hi, I'm going good. Bloody ripper, Britt. You keen to uh, head over to Brizzy with four members of the big show and watch some footy? Oh, I am. As who, keen as who would you take with you there, Britt? I'd have to take my partner, Dave. He's uh, nearly as big of a fan as me. Oh, right, but he sort of likes going off and doing all the shopping and that, doesn't he? He's a bit of a... He does, he does. But it'll be hard to keep him at all the games. He'll want to go shopping. Yeah, of course he Whereas will. Whereas Brett will want to watch all eight games with me, Hoodie J, Mogi. Oh, yeah. no. oh, backbone yeah. Brett. Hey, Brett, just real quick, mate. What do you do for a crust? I'm an accountant. Oh, oh backbone. 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 <laughs> Spreadsheets and that. Yeah, so good. Hey, yeah, Brett. That's it. Excel. Yeah, Excel. Yeah. Good chat, fellas. Auto summing, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> right. God, she loves talking about it. Yeah, work. she's going to hate. She's going to hate Brizzy. <laughs> hey, Brett, you stay on the line, mate. Pug's going to look after you, all right? Awesome. Thanks, guys. No worries. Sorry about that, Brett. That was embarrassing. No, nah, she's on hold, man. Don't. <laughs> I thought it was great chat. <laughs> hey, by the way, Davo from uh, boystrip.co.nz, he is oh, yeah. next to chat more about the his massive package, yeah. uh, the Magic Round package, and another chance for you to get in the draw just after 6 o'clock, so stay tuned. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. It is the Big Show. Wednesday afternoon, you've got Keezy and Mogi with you, and also Big Dave from boystrip.co.nz. Welcome aboard, Dave. Thanks, guys. Good to be here. Bloody good to be here. Uh, the reason we've got you in is we have been, for the past few weeks, putting people in the draw to potentially join us the four of us from the big show, Mogi, Keezy, Hoity J, Pugsan as well, heading over to Brisbane, Suncorp, eight games of rugby league, everything taken care of, uh, and that's just another day in the office for Boys Trip, right? Yeah, well, well you could say that. It's uh, it's such a good event. Um, like We're really excited about getting over there for another one and, and having you guys on board as well, and, and hopefully a few Hauraki listeners. Yeah. How was it last year? Good, yep. Um, yeah, I mean, it's if you're a league fan, there's nothing better. Like, mm. I'd actually rate this trip higher than a grand final, really, because wow. you're seeing all the games. I mean, unless the Warriors there, obviously, yeah, it could be yeah, different. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, you know, like you're going to see all the games. It's such a good atmosphere. It's you know, just a real real good time to be in Brisbane. And, I mean, you'd know, right, how many grand finals have you been to? Oh, five or six, I think. Right. I, mean, I, I often don't do the grand final because I do Bathurst the following week. Right. But, uh, yeah, it's, 
tough. And the good thing about this particular magic round is we've got a grand final preview in the Warriors playing the Panthers on Sunday. Yeah. So you could, you literally are getting a wee bit of grand final along with seven other regular rugby league games. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, no, it's such a such a good weekend in Brisbane. And you're building to it as well the whole weekend as well with the Warriors being on that Sunday afternoon. So you know if you yeah. are heading away with boys trip, you almost got to keep your powder a little bit dry. You got to keep a little bit in the tank because. <laughs> Obviously, it's it's tempting to get there, get a little bit excited, a couple of games on the Friday night, blow out, and then you're in recovery. You know, you're behind the eight ball for the rest of the time. And I guess people on the trips, you find they learn the hard way. Yeah, I think um, that first night fever is always always uh, a real issue. But uh, you know, they, it's, if you if you're there at the game, I don't think know. I've ever not had first night <laughs> fever. I'm getting it already. The amount of times that I've gone and it's just like, no, nah, we've got to go to bed early tonight. We've got to have a quiet one. Big weekend, fellas. And next thing you know. No good. Yeah, it's. Uh, I guess what kind of helps is often it's uh, flying over early in the morning as well. Yeah. So you get there, you know, quite early. You're sort of on New Zealand time. You check into the hotel and the beers start flowing and yeah, yeah. So, then maybe it's an early night, so you might not be too bad the next day. Well, that's the thing I'm thinking, especially with Hoity J, who's not here today. But you know, he'll be an early night on a Friday type setup. So I think that the issue of him maybe getting first night fever isn't going to happen. He's also probably not going to get second night fever or third night fever. No, he's not going to have any kind of fever except he probably will have an actual fever <laughs> Yeah, because he'll start to feel a little bit woozy. Yeah, um, He w- won't have his mask when he jumps on the plane and he'll start freaking out. Yeah, So if he's not bedridden for the entire weekend, I'll be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 18 years, boystrips.co.nz has been running. Um, what? How many of these marquee sporting events have you personally been to? Um, yeah, a few. And was um, it a situation where you created a job around just wanting to go to these things? Yeah, well, a little bit like that. I think you know, it's a job that we love doing. It's yeah. You know, I can't think of the last time I paid to go to a sporting event. So that's are you? That's a bonus out of it. Are you hesitant now to to pay to go to a sporting event oh, without an entire weekend <laughs> package attached to it? I guess whenever we're at sporting events, we're we're looking after clients. So you could say yeah, you're, right. sort of, you're on the clock, really. But, yeah. Uh, well, that's what you yeah. tell your missus, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, Dead it's right. work. It's work. Yeah. Though I'm going to. I'm yeah. Where are you going? You're going to. Um, you got the the grand final. You've got. You got Bathurst um, the next week. You got Bathurst the following yeah. weekend. You've Gold, also Gold just done cars. the Formula One. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you're tough. slaving, brother. Yeah, it's, it's not it's, for everyone. It's <laughs> tough. Uh, Dave from boystrip.co.nz. We might just chuck some fat Freddy's drop on. Uh, we'll come back with more on Boys Trip, and of course, the fantastic trip to Magic Round after this. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Oh, Fat Freddy's drop on the Hodaki Big Show. It is Wednesday afternoon, no Hoity J today. He'll be back tomorrow. We do still have Keezy, Mogi, and also Dave from boystrip.co.nz. And Dave, uh, we've put together this amazing package. It's a massive package, in fact. Um, And... Basically, someone is going to have the chance to, them and a mate, join us on this fantastic trip to Brisbane, all eight games of Rugby League, Magic Round, Suncorp Stadium. It is one of the biggest weekends if you're a Rugby League fan. You can actually buy your way onto the trip as well, though, can't you? Instead of waiting and risking not getting the prize. Yeah, 100%. And we would say don't wait till the prize is drawn because we may well have sold out of the trips by then. So yeah. if, if you're keen to go then I'd just jump onto the website, um, boystrip.co.nz, and um, fill in the inquiry form and we'll get a quote back to you. And, yeah, right. Yeah. And so, like, well, there's a magic weekend. Everything's taken uh, care of. You've got flights, amazing hotel with an infinity pool, spa, rooftop bar, all that type of setup. What is it, 10 grand per person? <laughs> 2,800 per person. You're joking. So it's uh, it's about the best, the best value we can do, really. We want to get as many warriors or just NRL fans in general over there. It's it's such a good week. Um, yeah. So yeah, we've we've kept the pricing pretty sharp, and, um, and we want to look after Hauraki listeners as well um, with a bit of a promo code. If, if you guys are okay with that, Keen go ass. on. Yeah, because I've got my own one. If you type in promo code Mogi, uh, we'll actually downgrade your flights, <laughs> and you only stay for one night. I think you're on a boat on that one. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we ship you over. Yeah. Um, no, so if you jump onto the website, um, hit the NRL Magic Round package, uh, there's an inquiry form on there. Just jot your details in there. There's a promo code box. Just chuck in Backbone. All one um, word. All, all one word, yeah, yeah. Uh, for that. And um, if you end up booking, we will upgrade your match tickets from silver to gold. So I think it's about 120 bucks. Ah, think. beauty. Yeah. Bloody worth it, Just isn't it? Just for the next week. Yeah, sweet. All right. And uh, obviously now that the big show has been involved with this huge package, 
um, pretty much sold out, I'm guessing. You know, yeah, we get a lot of people booking just because you guys are on there. Yeah. I don't think yeah. they know what Magic yeah. Ground is. They just, yeah. they just yeah. want to be amongst the, the big show guys. So. Yeah, for sure. They're yeah. going to be so let down. Yeah. It's going to be great. Um, tell me about boystrip.co.nz, man, because I think I was reading you've been doing it for almost 20 years now. Yeah, you and your so, mate started it? Yep. So um, just turned 18 couple week, uh, last weekend actually so oh, sweet. yeah it's it's been good it's um i mean they say don't go into business with your mates but we're a pretty good pretty good bunch of guys we've known each other since high school and and sort of the the whole the business started when we left high school we'd always do a bit of a boys trip away yeah. um to an to an aussie sporting event generally and we've got a like i think most groups of mates you've got your guys that are organized and then your guys that that couldn't organize a piss up in a brewery so yeah yeah we ended up organizing the trips all the time for ourselves and for our mates and then after a few years a few of the guys said look you got rid of your deadbeat mates and you just kept the guys that were organizers pretty much yeah, yeah. that's and smart then, and we thought maybe there's maybe there's other other groups in the same boat as us and we could maybe do it for other people <laughs> i'm the organizer in my group same. of mates and if it wasn't for me they would never have done anything in their lives yep. like quite happy to just stay home and do nothing forever. It's like, do you want to go to this concert? Do you want to go to the sporting event? Oh, nah. Like, and then you tell, oh, how was it? And it's like, it was the most incredible event I've ever mm-hmm. been into in my life. Game, uh, you know, life changing event. So glad I went. Um, and they're just like, oh, I should have come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it drives me up the goddamn wall, I've got to tell you. Well, it must oh. be because some people are intimidated by the admin involved and the effort on their behalf. Yeah, like put the yeah. money in my account. Yeah, there's a lot so of hard. <laughs> There's a lot of admin. I, I think we always get people that say, oh, especially Bathurst is a big one. Like Bathurst is such a, mm. you get your mates around, everyone watches it all day, having a few drinks. And we get people that are like, oh, we've been saying for the last 10 years we want to go to Bathurst. Every year, everyone's really keen. And then no one knows where to even start organising it. Yeah. And then after about ten years, someone's wife says, "Oh, why don't you get someone else to do it for you?" And then mm. they stumble across us. And, and my we, wife, we someone's wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. Uh, well, Dave from boystrip.co.nz, thank you so much for coming in. Can't wait to head over to Brizzy with you. Uh, actually, next month actually. Yeah. Um, and don't forget, if you do want to buy your way onto this trip, two thousand eight hundred dollars per person, guaranteed tickets uh, to all of the matches at Suncorp. Yeah, it's sold out now as well. Actually. Sold out. Yeah. The whole Magic yeah. Ground. Magic Ground sold out. So the only way to get tickets could be through. Through. Boys yeah, trip. that's great. Yeah. Uh, you also get flights included, amazing accommodation, and you get to pester Hoity the entire weekend uh, oh. but thanks for coming in mate oh, awesome thanks for having me the Hodaki Big Show Podcast Blink 182 what's my age again it is the Hodaki Big Show with Keezy and Minogue you've got uh, old Hoody J be back on deck with us tomorrow folks coming up after 6 another chance to get yourself in the draw for the NRL Brizzy Comp also Mogi tells us what he watched on the telly yeah man people tune in for this stuff they eh? do actually Yeah, it's high rating stuff so uh, stick with us we'll be back in a sec the Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Yeah. No Hoodie J though. Keezy and Mogi. And this is the Big Show brought to you by Night and Day. Just me. Feel so lonely. Oh my God. Yeah. I just had the, got the biggest fright. My um, headphones jack had come undone. So I plugged it back in, but it had been turned up to max in the meantime. Oh, wow. So I just had Keezy coming at me a million miles an hour. Yeah, just the huge then. <sighs> coming at you like a spider monkey. Uh, night and day, of course. $4.50 barista made coffees. That's one hell of a caffeine fix. Hey, Mogi, you know the outro? No. Oh. Can you tell me about it, oh, man? I was hoping you'd tell me about nah, it. Nah, nah. Uh, it's like a podcast we do every single day. It comes out at 7.30. every day? Yeah, it's bonus content. Oh, God. Well, it depends what lens you're looking at it through, really. What do you mean? Well, you call it a bonus, but have you ever heard it? Oh, to be honest, no. Yeah, well, listen to this. Oh, God. Is this a clip from today's yeah. one? Yeah. You sit down, you do your wee. Yeah. Reverse cowboy styles, eh? Oh. That's what we're talking about? Yeah. And then you don't have to, at no point are you touching your downstairs, at no point are you touching the toilet. Yeah. You don't ever have to wash your hands. Ah, oh. so you could, you could undo your belt, take your pant, drop it down, and just hover over the toilet. Well, you sit down on the toilet. Why are you hovering? Because then you could even make it so you're not touching the toilet at all, even with your ass. And then you don't Why have to wash I your care? ass. And then you don't have to wash your <laughs> yeah, ass after I'm, I'm concerned I've been going to the toilet. <laughs> yes, there's been a sit down wheeze chat on today's podcast outro that comes out at seven thirty every single weekday. Hoity Joe's been trying to stop us from talking about sit down wheeze for a few months now, but with him being away, we're allowed it was to our it. opportunity to crack into it. That's right. And if you're a bloke out there that doesn't do it often, try it, man. Take oh, five. It's real good. It's life changing. It is. I prefer it now, unless like in a public space, I'll still do the the usual way. You know what the next step is? What skirts? Y- yes, <laughs> that is such. 
A great idea. Uh, coming up shortly, folks, your chance to get yourself in the draw for that awesome Brizzy Big Show backbone bloody magic round comp. So stay tuned to get ready to call 0800 Hodaki. Here's some cake. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Here they come. Try time. Oh. Holy cow, the Warriors. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's right. The big show's heading over to Brizzy for Magic Round. We've been banging on about it for a few weeks now, but you could be with us, you and a mate, with free flights, free accommodation, and a free uh, match day tickets as well to go to all eight games at Suncorp Stadium. Let's go to the lines. Tom from Christchurch. Hey, again. I'm doing well. Thanks, mate. How are you going? Yeah, I'm going bloody good, Tom. I'm going pretty grouse as well, Tom. There, you sicko. What do you do for a crust? I uh, sell artificial grass. Ah, backbone. <laughs> Good on you, mate. It's artificial grass that is the backbone of this country. It bloody is. I hate real grass. Same, man. Who doesn't? Hey, Tom. Yeah, well, it. Tom, yeah. do you like your rugby league? I do like the rugby league. Yeah, do you like real rugby league or artificial rugby league? Preferred artificial if it was an option, but rule goes all right. Yeah, yeah, same yeah, here, man, same here. And if we uh, chuck you in the draw and you happen to win, mate, who would you take with you? Oh, it'd be the age-old toss-up between one of the fellas who loves rugby league or their girlfriend who won't let me forget it if I don't take her. Yes. So we'll see how we go. Yeah. yeah, good on you, mate. Yeah, it's a great dilemma. Uh, we'll chuck you in the draw, Tom. Pug's son will look after you. Hayden, Hayden. Yeah, g'day, fellas. Yeah, g'day, mate. G'day, Hayden, mate. How you going? Oh, oh, going spectacular. Hayden, I mean, you're a regular feature on our show, especially during the Throbber, mate. You'd be pretty keen to come to Brizzy with us, wouldn't you? Oh, we could do a live Throbber. We could do. Oh, now we're talking. Do the old bumper to bumper. Bumper to bumper <laughs> in Brizzy with Hayden. Who, yeah. Hayden, I'm right in saying you're also from Christchurch, right? Uh, that's right, yes. Big rugby league community down there, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's get our sixth team going. Yeah. Nah. Team. Nah, I'd be... I'm definitely keen for them to have more live games down in Christchurch, though. Like, if they had four or five a season, because the crowds there are massive. You're getting derailed here, there, Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah, yeah. Hayden, Hayden, what do you do for a crust, man? <laughs> oh, I'm a top radio DJ. Oh, oh. that's a shame. That's, yeah, it's, that's terrible, actually. Oh, Waste of taxpayer it. money, even though they don't <laughs> pay for it. Hey, uh, Hayden, if you do win, mate, who would you take with you? I'd either take my wife or my wife's dad. Oh. My wife! Oh. Or the father-in-law. That's a classy yeah, move, actually. that's a actually. good move. That is a sneaky move from you, Hayden. Yeah, I like that. Um, well, Hayden, I tell you what, mate. We'll chuck you in the drawer with a couple of ticks next to your name, all right? Oh, thanks, Bell. Cheers. No worries at all. Uh, hey, another chance. Wait, a crap load more chances to get in the draw. Uh, all tomorrow on Hodaki. Your best bet is just to keep it locked on this very radio station. Hey, Mogi. Yeah, babe. What did you watch on TV last night? Oh, uh, you'll have to wait, I'm afraid. Brother. Oh, damn it. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. The Smashing Pumpkins on the Hodaki Big Show with Keezy and Mogi. Hoity J back on deck tomorrow. Uh, back on what? Back on deck. Back on the show tomorrow. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm uh, with you. Yeah, but right now it's time for... What's on the telly with Mike Minogue? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, last night I watched an episode of Jace's show, Woody J's show, Sugar. Oh, no, that's not right. Uh, Ripley. Ripley, yeah, because he's been it's banging on, on about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's been banging on about it. Um, yeah, it's all right. It's about a guy who's a con artist and a bit of a criminal when he's trying to you know, get himself into somebody else's life that's really rich and stuff. Uh, not unlike Saltburn, actually, a little oh, bit right. like that. But what is odd about it is it's shot in, it's on Netflix, but it's shot in black and white. Right. And it's sh- the locations are New York, the coast of Italy. Is it set like in a time where TV would have been black and white? Uh, when TV would have been, but yeah, you know, okay. made last month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I... I'm not sure why why they've done it, especially when you're in these beautiful locations yeah. and you've got all the colour sucked out of it. So I'm, I'll find out. Right. Uh, the guy's good it, definitely going to keep on watching it. Um, uh, yeah. How many buzzies out of ten? Zero buzzies so far. Wow. Oh, no, two. Well, two meat patties, I'll give it. Right, okay. Because the lead guy, Andrew Scott... <sighs> 
who plays the hot priest in Fleabag. Oh, yes. Yeah, I said to my wife, um, how old do you reckon he is? She said, oh, I'm 36. I said, he's actually the same age as me. And she said, piss off. <laughs> Wow, is he so looking he's good? The same, well, he's looking better than me, which isn't so much, but there you go. Far out. Yeah, yeah. Um, last night, I said to my wife, should we fire up TVNZ Plus, watch that Mr. Bates versus the Post Office? One oh. that I was watching, the English it's one. It's a series, eh? Four-episode series. She doesn't get it, though, eh? No, she, she does. Yeah, yeah. No, she loves it. Uh, you were saying she kept on asking questions about it, like, oh, what's she a did. post office? Yeah, she's like, what's a stamp? Uh, but I was like, can we watch it? And then she was like, oh, I'm pretty tired. And I was like... See you then. Episode of Country Calendar. She's like, yeah. So you know watched- what? I think your Country Calendar is my Seinfeld. But I also watch Seinfeld. Right when she goes to bed, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I watch that without her. I like the sounds of the uh, Country Calendar thing. I might start getting into that. Have you never seen it? Well, bits and pieces, you know. But I'm yeah. not like, oh god, I miss the latest Country Calendar. No, well, that's the good thing about it. But the way you it. sell it, Keezy, yeah. makes it sound like it's real cool. Yeah, it is real cool. Um, if you haven't heard of it, look it up. TVNZ Plus. The Hodaki Big Show weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Faith no more on the Hodaki Big Show. Keezy and Mogi, Hoodie J back on deck tomorrow. Um, uh, big weekend of footy there, Mogi. I understand you're actually going to go along to the Waz game. Up the Waz, yeah, I am going to go along. It's a five o'clock kickoff, which means I should get a bit of time with my uh, daughter there. She'll, I reckon, I'll get a half out of her. So and you'd I'll go. just have to drive a million miles an hour home and get the second half at home. So you'd rather watch one half of footy rather than watching the whole thing on the couch. The thing about it is, I would rather watch the whole game on the couch. 100%. Right. But what you've got to do when you've got a kid is slowly get her used to the live experience. Right. You're never going to get a whole game out of it. Well, you will eventually, but yeah. you've got to, you've got to build them up. And just because I would rather watch the game at home on the couch, I have to think about what's good for my daughter. And I want her to be a lifelong Waz fan so she can suffer like I have suffered. <laughs> That's great. What's well, a good time to get involved with it? Has she been to one before? Yeah, been to a couple. This did she get third? Did she get freaked out by the fireworks? No, nah, that's so that. loud. No, she liked that. Because we're in the commentary box. I think the very first game of the season, and it gave all of us a heart attack. At right. Once. It's just so out of nowhere, just a massive explosion. Yeah, I don't know, though. It feels like the well, the ones we've been to would have been during the day, and I'm not sure they give it the oh, same. Yeah, true. The same. Uh, yeah, because it's not at night. Yeah. The fireworks. Yeah, smoky. it's not as good. Yeah. Uh, if you are staying at home, though, if you're choosing to uh, neglect your children and not give them the live experience, make sure you watch the Waz v Manly Sky Sport 9. You will have Di Henwood and Ben Hurley commentating that. That kicks off from uh, 5 to 5 on Saturday. And then also, if you are into your rugby union, straight after that at the Caketon, you've got the uh, Canes taking on the Chiefs, a little super rugby action. You'll have James McConey and G Lane for that. Uh, so another weekend jam-packed with sporting events covered by the ACC, and it's all thanks to Deliver Easy as well. Uh, listen to the ACC score yourself some food from the Chefferie. Chefferie. I mean, there's some long bows being drawn here. Nah, it's good stuff. Is that, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Done and dusted for your big show for your Wednesday. And that, uh, Keezy and Mogi. <laughs> I'm so like, I sit here waiting for Jace to jump in. And then he doesn't. Then I go, oh, wait, I've got to do it. Yeah, you got to do it, man. Yeah, man. It's all on your shoulders, man. Mm. He's got a lot of responsibilities there. What are you up to tonight, Mogi? Uh, I'm going to go home. I might have something to eat. I might not. Uh, um, I've got a little a little bit of work to do, which I'm looking forward to. And then I'm gonna, hopefully I'm going to find out about this house. I'll tell you tomorrow about this house. Yeah, because you're moving I house. I want to look at it. Well, I hope I am. Yeah. But it's a bit weird, isn't it? Because I'm just moving. If I get it, I'm just moving up the street. But I don't want to say too much. It's, it's quality, quality content. Yeah, I'm going to save for tomorrow. I reckon we can get probably six or seven breaks out of it. Yeah, because even what you just told me then, that's like two breaks. It's unreal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. good stuff. And uh, once we throw in a few, you know, my wife jokes, yeah, backbone, sort of bag you yeah. for your hat and uh, my hat, Hoity J for his massive honker and all that sort of You know, it's like before you know it, you've won eight radio awards. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It's a whirlwind. <laughs> uh, tonight I will be heading home. My wife's playing netball tonight, so I'm going to be eating dinner that she's left for me. 
and I'll just eat that in front of the tally watching you used shows. To watch her, you used to watch her play netball. You don't do that anymore. No, this is social grade netball. Oh, it's garbage. It's warming up to, pretty much, uh, warming up to her actual netball. Okay, cool. And then I'll go watch that. Uh, but yeah, eating the f- uh, cold food, but watching shows I want to watch, you know? She looks like the kind of person that would be good at netball. She's excellent at yeah, netball. Right. Yeah, right. There's one thing, yeah, that... There's one thing she's good at, you were saying, and it's netball. I, no, I said... You said everything else. I said, no if, bueno. I said, if there's one thing, actually stuff it. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow in New Zealand. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Don't forget to check out the podcast. Bye.